Hi guys, Mark Jensen here. Today we're going to tie a classic wet fly. We're going to tie a soft haggle version of the Blue Dawn wet fly. Um, this is a fly you can use all season. Um, in most rivers and lakes for that matter, you can fish it down and across, you can fish it, it dead drifted, and you can fish it upstream like uh, the classic North Country spider flies. No matter what you do with these flies, they're gonna catch fish. Um, super easy to tie as well. So let's get on with the tying. Hang on. Okay, first I attach the tying thread. This is Purcell's Gossamer silk thread. It's a bit thicker than the thread I used mostly. And it isn't as strong as modern threads. But it's a classic material for this fly and it gives some beautiful flies. I make a single wrap under the tail, as you can see, to cock it up a bit. The yellow tying thread is important here because the bluish gray mole fur that I dub on the thread will take on kind of an olive hue when the dubbing gets wet. I like to leave the back of the body with the tying thread alone and then gradually dub more, dubbing on as I go forward. Then I prepare the hackle feather. Find the fibers I want to use for this hackle. Having the right length for this hook size. Then I isolate the tip and cut it off like this. And then I remove the fibers I don't need for this fly. I lock it in place with a few turns. And double the haggle as I go forward, pulling all the fibers back.
Then I make a whip finish. I try to make as few wraps as possible on the head because this thread is rather thick. And a bit of varnish. And there's a soft haggler ready to go. Okay guys, that's all for today. The blue done soft haggler wet fly. Thanks for watching. <laughs>